This video will show you how to make an opening box animation in Blender, please watch up to the very end. When you open Blender, first press tab to go to the edit mode. Click on this icon to switch to edge selection then select the following edges. Click here on mesh then go to split and select faces by edges. Now click here to switch to face selection then select this face. Press 2 to switch to edge selection then click on this bottom edge to activate it. So come up here and click on this icon then switch the transform pivot point to active element. Now press R then Y then 90 to rotate it by 90 degrees along the Y. Press 3 to switch to face selection then select this face. Press 2 again to switch to edge selection then click on this bottom edge to activate it. Press R then X then 90 to rotate it along the X by 90 degrees. Press 3 again to switch to face selection then select this face. Now press 2 to switch it to edge selection then click on this bottom edge to activate it. Press R then Y then minus 90 to rotate it this side by 90 degrees along the Y. Press 3 to switch to face selection then select this face and this face. Press 2 to switch it to edge selection then click on this bottom edge to activate it. Now press R then X then minus 90 to rotate it this side by 90 degrees along the X. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Click on this X to go to a side view then press G then Z then 1 to move it up by 1. Press Shift A and go to armature then add a single born. Press S then 2 to scale it up by 2. Now press tab to go to the edit mode. Click at this point of the born then press E then X then 2 to extrude it along the X by 2. Now select this born and press Alt P then select disconnect bone to disconnect this bone. Click on this Y to go to a side view then press G then X then 1 to move it along the X by 1. Press G then Z then minus 2 to move it down by 2 along the Z axis. Now click on this drop down arrow then change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor. Now press Shift D then R then Z then minus 90 to duplicate and rotate it along the Z by minus 90 degrees. Press Shift R two times to repeat the action two times. Now select this point on this board then press E then Z then 2 to extrude it up by 2. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. Select this box then hold Shift and select this armature as well. Press Ctrl P then click on with empty groups to parent them with empty groups. Now if you select this armature and press G to move it you can see that the box moves along with it. Now press Tab to go to the edit mode. Select this bone then come and click down here to go to the bone properties. Now you can see how the bones are named by clicking on each of them. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Select this box then press tab to go back to the edit mode. Press 3 to switch to face selection then select this face and go to the object data properties. Now select this first face then come to the object data properties and select bone 1 then click on assign to assign it. Select this second face then come to the object data properties and select bone 2 then click on assign to assign it. Select the third face then come to the object data properties and select bone 3 then click on assign to assign it. Select the fourth face then come to the object data properties and select bone 4 then click on assign to assign it. Select the fifth face then come to the object data properties and select bone 5 then click on assign to assign it. Finally select this middle face then come to the object data properties and select bone then click on assign to assign it. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Select this armature then come up here and switch to the pose mode. Click here and switch the transform pivot point from 3D cursor to median point. Now if you select this born and press R then X you can see it rotating along the X. Click here to activate the auto keying button then press R then 0 to assign a rotation keyframe to it. Select this born then press R then X then minus 90 to assign a keyframe to it. Select this 1 2 then press R then 0 to assign a keyframe to it as well. Do the same for this bone and this bone as well. Go to frame 20 then select this bone and press or then Y then minus 90 to rotate it by 90 degrees along the Y. 
Select this bone as well and press or then X then minus 90 to rotate it by 90. Select the next one then press or then Y then 90 to rotate it by 90 along the Y. Select the next one then press or then X then 90 to rotate it by 90 along the Y. Now go to frame 40 and select this 2 then press or then X then 90 to rotate it by 90. Now if you play it you can see the animation coming out. So now you can switch back to the object mode. Click here to deactivate the auto keying button then reduce the end frame to 100. Now go back to the pose mode and press A to select all the bones. Go to the first frame in the timeline then press S to scale up the key frames up to frame 100. Now click here and go back to the object mode. And now if you play it you can see the animation coming out nicely. You can now go ahead to work on your scene further in render. Thank you so much for watching up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.